Good afternoon, Guardian users and the Guardian community. My name is Sean Ames, and I'm the Scrum Master and Product Owner for the Guardian Project. The purpose of this call is to discuss our Sprint 4 and do our Sprint 4 demo with all of the work that's completed in Sprint 4. This was for the week of January 10th, which was last week. Sprint 4 was from December 27th to January 7th. Also in this demo, we're going to have a Sprint 5 issue overview. So Sprint 5 began on the 10th. We're going to talk about upcoming releases and the dates. If you just want to take a look at our roadmap here, we've uh, worked on half of the outstanding community issues so far. This sprint or sprint four, the main uh, sprint goal was to work on the API that included some UI UX changes, some reworking um, and refactoring of the API. In sprint five, we're actually completing the API work with some testing. We worked on some development red tickets and just that discovery and sprint for the Vera red milestone in our project. And also so we began work on our tutorials for both the Guardian a UI user guide and the Guardian code user guide, as you can see on the screen. Let's see. So here's a sort of a Sprint 4 overview. We just talked about that. We committed 64 story points in Sprint 4, and we delivered 68 story points, which was uh, under-promising and over-delivering. So that was good. Uh, and like I said, we focused pretty much 70% of the sprint was focused on API development, things like that. And then another large part of the sprint was focusing on tutorials and getting discovery done for Vera Red. As you can see on this screen with the sprint four, we're now on the demo and I'll be passing this on to Alex, who is our solutions architect. And before I do that, just we completed a release in sprint four on Tuesday, January 11th. Um, at 12 noon. And our next release is going to be on February 8th, 2022, again at 12 noon. And we are all okay and green for that release as things stand now. Without further ado, I will pass it on to Alex and let Alex take control of the screen so that he can show the, the work completed from a development perspective in Sprint 4. Hello. Thank you, Sean. So this Sprint, we was focused on the streamlining and making our API much better than it was. So we prepared this open API version uh, and currently it's on the screen. It has the version 1.0 for now and it has the endpoints which covers all the functionality that uh, Guardian has. We also prepared examples of the responses and uh, describe it what each endpoint is doing. There is also the Postman API version. You can also go ahead and play with it. Both of them are in the guardian-uiservice-api-path. So there is a Postman API and there is a Swagger API in the YAML format. So that's it. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Alex. Like I said, we have the release we just completed, which was on Tuesday, January 11th, 2022 at noon. And again, we have our upcoming release on Tuesday, February 8th, 2022 at noon, just to clear out when we are having our next release. For Sprint 5, just our issue overview. And Sprint 5 is from January 10th to January 21st. Some of the big things that we're completing in Sprint 5 are the testing of the API development work that was done in Sprint 4. We're also working on analytics for uh, root authorities, policies, auditors, installers. So that's a really big deal is just beginning work on the Guardian analytics capability. The other big thing in Sprint 5 that we're working on are completing the tutorials for both the code user guide and the UI user guide. So as you can see, there's a bunch of tickets that are related to the tutorials for the Guardian. And lastly, in Sprint 5, we've begun and hopefully will complete development on the Vera Red policy work implementation. And lastly, just some of our versioning, which was a very high priority item. And so in Sprint 5, we've got two important tickets, a ticket 310 and 311, that are just around the Guardian's versioning protocols. For Sprint 5, we're committing 114 story points, and hopefully we will complete them all. And 
lastly thank you for your time and reviewing our sprint for demo as you can see on the screen if you would like to reach out to our team to submit a policy request enhancement or a bug you can get us here on github discord and by emailing envision blockchain directly thank you for your time folks we will talk to you again at sprint fives demo thank you